welcome back to the channel everyone how's everyone doing i hope you're doing well it's totally back with you again with more stuff alternative stuff for the spooky season and yeah in the last video we had a look at some stuff that was sort of like entry level stuff for kids really to sort of get them into that sort of um horror kind of thing i mean horror is probably not the right word to use and, and to be honest i can't actually think what the right word would be to to to, to sort of explain the kids to, to get them into that that jumping off point to get into the into the horror universe um but these shows that we're having a look at did it ex extremely well um they are fond favorites of mine from the 80s um these were shown these were shows that were shown on on children's tv in the uk all throughout the 80s and, and, and the early 90s some of them got repeated later on cable and, and satellite channels uh, and for good reason, because they were good, good, wholesome shows. Um, every one of them seems to hold up really well still. You know, I've been back and watched these numerous times, and they, they still hold up extremely well, to be honest. Uh, and it, the, if you can find them to put into, the, into your collection, if you are into the sort of British nostalgic stuff like I am, these are really, really good pieces to get into the collection. It can be found relatively cheap, um, the, the people that put this one out, Dazzler Media, um, they do some really good stuff within the UK and probably don't get enough hype or, or enough things talked about them. Um, I, they do do some really good stuff. I mean, they put out the big collector's edition of Mandy that came out not too long back on Blu-ray. I think it was Blu-ray, I don't think it was a 4K. It um, was done by Dazzler. Uh, and, and they did a really, really good job with it. So if you look at some of the stuff that Dazzler Media's done, um, it's extremely good. They do some really, really good stuff. And when they announced this one coming out, I had to pre-order it. We've had this one in the collection now a while. This is one of my wife's favourites as well as. And it is from 1985, I think it is. Um, is it 85? I might be completely wrong. Where am I looking? It's sorry, no, 88. 88 this came out. Uh, it is Simon and the Witch. Um, these were based on books that were written by uh, Margaret Stuart Barry uh, about Simon, little boy there, and the witch, who is his next door neighbour. And when Simon finds out that she's a witch, um, all hell breaks loose, and they get up to all kinds of mischief together. Um, he invites her into school, and she ends up becoming one of the one of the pupils at the school. Um, a lot, loads of different things go on. Every episode was really, really good. Um, they're sort of like 15, 20 minutes long each episode. Um, typical, typical 80s British feel to it, the way it is. Um, these were, at, at the time, um, were shown on, on children's TV, on, on children's BBC, especially this one, uh, at that little later slot. So the likes of me when I was getting in, getting home from school, and I'd have been sort of like 11, 12, 13. This is what this was sort of aimed at. Um, and it worked really well for that sort of age group. Again, it's got a really memorable theme tune to it as well. The opening credit is, is fantastic. The end credit is really good to it as well. You don't always get that on, on kids stuff, um, but it's extremely good, extremely good. The end credit. Uh, 25 episodes. I think it ran over two series altogether. Um, it ran for a good good number of, a good number of years. Um, there'll be some there's some famous faces all the way through this from the who's who of British acting of, of the time. Um, but Dazzler did a really really good job on it. It's a three disc set. No difference on the artwork on the, on the discs. Uh, but the quality looks looks brilliant. Um, they've obviously done something with it. Uh, they've obviously cleaned it up somehow. Because uh, unlike other things of, of this time period when it comes to DVD, it always looks like straight from TV or a VHS port, maybe. This doesn't. This looks like it's definitely had something done to it. Um, it looks clean. It looks crisp. Um, and it really, really does look good for it. Um, I don't think there's any special features on it. Um, there isn't, no. Um, but again, like it says on the back, a true comedy gem from 80s children's TV. Um, and it is, it is really, really good. So again, if you've ever, if you remember this one, you remember it fondly, check this release out. Um, it's probably the best way to get hold of it. Uh, it's probably the best way to see it. 
Um, and it's definitely, definitely worth a pick up. Again, second hand, probably won't cost you that much anymore. This eight to ten pounds tops. Um, could probably be still be picked up from some places. I know Dazzler still puts stuff out, so I imagine this probably isn't OP at this point. Um, you probably, it's probably about 15 new, 15 pound new. Uh, but it is definitely, definitely worth a pick up. And if you're definitely nostalgic kit like I like I am for the stuff that he was into as a kid, uh, and you like having a lot of this stuff in your collection, you can't really go wrong with uh, Dazzler's release of, of Sam and the Witch. It'll bring back all sorts of nostalgic memories. Um, yeah, that was it. Sam and the Witch. There was something a little bit different for the spooky season of Halloween. Again, guys, please give the video a like. Please give us a subscribe if you've not already subscribed to the channel already. I'm only nine away from a thousand. You know what I mean? It's took me three and a half years to nearly get to a thousand subscribers. But hey, oh, who's counting? Till the next time, guys. See you all again soon. Bye-bye.